OMG, I can't wait for the sleepover party tonight. We're going to watch movies, we're going to order pizza, and I can stay up as late as I want to. Hmm, there, everything's ready. Oh, wait. Yonela, is it still cool if I use your makeup bag for the sleepover party tonight? Yeah, okay, Cece, you owe me. I've put some sparkly glitter eyeshadow in the bag. Plus, those neon eye colors you like. Oh, thanks, Yonela. These are great. Mwah! Ugh, looks like I forgot the lipstick. Grab it over there in the top drawer. Huh? What's this? That's a condom. Lusani and I use it for protection. My boy, Yonela, I know what a condom is. Why do you have one? Mama will freak out. Before becoming sexually active, everyone should think about how they will protect themselves from pregnancy as well as HIV and STIs. You should talk with your partner about methods you will use and make sure you understand how they work and how to use them. There are many options when it comes to contraception. Some are short acting, like tablets, called oral contraceptive pills, which you take at the same time each day, or injectables. That will mean a trip to a clinic every two or three months. There are also long-acting methods like the implant that gets fitted under the skin of the upper arm. This only requires one trip to the clinic to have it put in and it protects against pregnancy for three years. Or an IUD, which stands for intrauterine device and is also called the loop, which is fitted inside the uterus. These long-acting methods protect you against pregnancy for between 5 and 10 years, depending on which one a person chooses. They can be removed sooner if a woman wants to change methods or plans to become pregnant. There's no one-size-fits-all contraceptive. It depends on what works for each person and some have to try a few to find the one that suits them best. Most of these options contain low dose of hormones which is what prevents the body from getting pregnant. It can also mean some experience side effects like headaches, cramps or nausea. Others have an increase in their appetite or start getting an irregular period. Some stop getting a period at all. If the effects don't fade after the first few months, it's good to chat to a nurse or doctor about trying a new method. The copper IUD doesn't contain hormones, but its after effects can include heavier bleeding and cramps for the first few months. It's good to take the time to explain preferences, lifestyle and health history to a nurse or a doctor so they can help each person find a method that is right for them. Most contraceptives, except for a vasectomy, where the tubes inside the body are cut to restrict sperm permanently, are used by the female partner in a relationship. But the guy she's with has a role to play too in terms of supporting her. All these methods can prevent a couple from getting pregnant, but the only method that protects against STIs or HIV is a condom. Using both a condom and another form of contraception together is called dual protection. And that's a good idea. Partners should be able to talk openly about what they'll use to protect each other. They can even plan to visit a clinic or the pharmacy to get condoms or other forms of contraception. But most importantly, both people have to feel comfortable and ready when the time comes to have sex. So, you see, contraception and protection is a normal part of a healthy sexual relationship. Wow, thanks Yoni. Good to know, ne? I guess I'll need that info in the future. But for now, I just need to know how to protect against these pimples on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I have the perfect solution for that. Hang on. Hey, don't forget to visit us at amaze.org.za or follow us on Instagram and Facebook at amaze.southafrica. Hashtag bye.